Ready? Okay. Good morning all. Uh, thank you for coming out here today. Uh, as you can see, we are commencing a search today to locate a missing person by the name of Peter Glassbrook. Uh, Peter is a 45-year-old male. Uh, he suffers an acquired brain injury. He's quite a vulnerable person. So I'll give you a bit of circumstances as to what's actually caused us to be here today. Uh, Peter was reported missing by um, a homeless service uh, from the CBD around the 15th of September. They hadn't seen him for a couple of weeks and expressed some concerns. A number of inquiries have been undertaken to try and locate Peter, uh, including in this state and interstate. Uh, in early December, we received some information that Peter might have come to the Onkaparinga National Park and in particular Gate 12 uh, to actually go for a walk. He was uh, in company uh, with a second male. Um, at this stage, uh, the only information we have is that he may not have returned or may not have left the park. Uh, this male is assisting us with his inquiries, uh, helping police to try and pin Peter's tracks. Uh, we do have concerns for Peter because of his ability to actually be out here, his ability to think on his feet and his capacity to look after himself. Did the two please? men become separated while they were walking in the park? Yes, uh, Peter is, uh, as I said, he's 45 years old. He's uh, a, a little over 100 kilos. He is not used to walking in a national park or any hiking sort of environment. Uh, he was uh, left behind because uh, he expressed a bit of tiredness. Uh, we're not uh, sure at this stage whether he became tired or disorientated uh, um, and whether he actually left the National Park. So there's nothing suspicious about his disappearance, it's more misadventure if anything, or accidental? We are keeping our inquiries very open, a very open mind. Uh, he was in company with someone else. Uh, we are. We're going through all avenues at this stage. One, whether he did uh, actually become quite disorientated, whether he took a wrong path, or whether he does have ill health. He uh, is an excessive um, drinker, uh, so he has doesn't keep the best of health, or whether he actually, uh, you know, befell some sort of um, uh, foul play. How did he get to the park in the first place, and did he possibly leave by the same means? Uh, he came with this other male who is helping us. Uh, they came by a vehicle uh, and... Um, so the, he couldn't the, have driven off by himself then? No. Uh, was that a the, friend of him his, he was with? Uh, it's someone he met, uh, an acquaintance. He's met through the various services in the CBD um, and that's the only way he knows this person. Is it strange that the other man would leave him here? I can't talk for the other man, but you know, all of us are aware that if we went hiking as a team, we remain as a team and we leave as a team. Uh, but uh, I'm a little, little bit concerned that he was actually left behind if that is uh, any veracity to that uh, uh, event. Do you have a date as to when that happened? I mean, if he was reported and not seen for two weeks, do you yeah. know when they came up here? Look, we think sometime in September. Uh, we're not really sure when in September. We're only going off the inquiries the male is assisting us with. Uh, so we, that's the only information we have at this stage uh, and we are working on it. If, uh, yeah. Are police expecting to find him alive? If he's in the National Park, uh, you know, I have concerns about uh, him finding him alive at this stage. Uh, but we are still keeping uh, uh, being positive that uh, he actually has left the National Park but we just need to, uh, to cover this line of uh, inquiry to make sure that uh, he is not here in any, in any state. Did and he have he... any cash with him, any water, any credit cards, anything? Peter came unprepared, uh, so he had uh, no backpack, no water and no mobile phone. So as was... you're keeping the inquiries open, you can't rule out if it is or isn't suspicious? At not, not at this stage, yes. So as I said, you know, it's very open, uh, anything is a possibility. There's been no trace of him since, since September, is that right? Correct, so, yes. Yeah. So all inquiries have been undertaken, which is very unusual. Uh, generally, Peter uh, makes contact with any of the services uh, within a week or so, and this is the longest that he has not been uh, cited by anyone. Does, does he have, have any family, family in uh, South Australia? He, he does have a next of kin. He has a mum and he has a 12-year-old daughter. And they are in South Australia? In Adelaide? Yes, they are. How are they feeling? They must be terribly concerned. Look, they are very concerned, you know, as with any family member being, uh, um, you know, away for a long period of time. 
uh, any family member who hasn't made contact with, a, with an offspring, it is very concerning for them. And I'm sure they are quite um, you know, upset with the fact that uh, he hasn't made contact with them at this stage. And how long will emergency service crews be uh, looking in this area today? Uh, we need to cover a fair bit of the gorge. Uh, there is a quite, we, we don't know exactly which pathway they took. And as you're aware, the gorge is quite uh, extensive. So we are working with SES and I'll probably take this opportunity to thank the SES uh, for coming to assist us. Uh, there's a fair uh, number of trails we need to cover. Uh, if we don't finish it today, we'll, we'll reconvene and come back to another day. How many people are part of the search party? Uh, so from SES we have 30 plus uh, members assisting us and probably very similar numbers with police. Just a ground search at this stage? Uh, at search. this uh, stage we have a ground search and water search. Uh, so water operations uh, will be checking the, uh, the gorge and the water line um, today. So how long will you search uh, 